Uh, that's a gen, yeah. <laughs> The Quranly app, subscription cheaper than Netflix, encouraging Quran reading, modern, engaging, and fun. Download it today. Assalamu alaikum, guys, and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Dr. Salman Butt, the chief editor of Islam 21C, approximately five years ago, was called an extremist hate preacher in a press release by the government. Today, after five years of defending their lie, they have finally ran out of steam, become tired, lost the dough, lost the vigor, lost the energy. How embarrassing! And have come down to their knees and offered an unreserved apology. And not only that, they're offering compensation to him as well. So here's what they said, the government accepts that it was wholly false to allege that Dr. Butt is an extremist hate preacher who legitimizes terrorism and therefore somebody from whose influence students should be protected. It is sorry for the harm caused, well sorry yeah okay, it is sorry for the harm caused to him and in particular for the fact that the allegation was made and maintained for so long. And let's see the main defense that the government put forward, yeah? Bear in mind this was about five years. Let's see this solid defense. When he took legal action against the government, it initially attempted to defend the libel claim by using a defense of honest opinion. First of all, it's clear that it was a lie. Second of all, who gives a toss about your opinion mate? Especially if that opinion is going to cause psychological and social damage to a person. If you're called an extremist preacher, you think you're going to be invited anywhere? You think you're going to get a job anywhere? Yeah, you think you're going to be sleeping in peace in a country where, let's face it, prevent and schedule seven. Bang, 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 bang. Open up, mate. Actually, they don't even say open up. They open up and come in. And you know what? Salman could have been like any other Muslim that gives excuses whenever something bad happens to him. Yeah, like, We're too weak. The system is against us. That doesn't mean you lie on your back like a dog, mate. You know what I'm saying? Like, have some dignity. Or those that pin the blame on Allah and say, Yeah, Allah wanted it this way, mate. You know what I'm saying? He decided it. First of all, how on earth do you know that without exhausting all your means? We know you gotta do your best, then Allah does the rest, mate. Yeah! What, you've got some sort of uh, special connection where you get revelation from Allah, yeah? Give me a break, mate. Educate and empower yourselves and your children. Stand up mate for your Muslim identity and stop pinning it on God and even the Dajjal mate. Some people, yeah, the, don't worry mate, the Dajjal's coming anyway, day of judgment. Mehdi say, I think he's round the corner mate. Relax, they will come when they come. Wallahu alam, that doesn't mean you stop. Have you forgotten that narration? Finish planting the seed. Even if the day of judgment is upon you mate. The whole world's gonna be smashed to bits. But finish planting that seed because that's what we do. And it also shows that one Muslim, one Muslim is enough to send ripples on this planet. You saw Habib Narmega Meda. But if you wanna find me, please just send me location. You see Muhammad Ali, you saw Malcolm X, and I haven't even started talking about the companions of the Prophet These were individuals. But the reality guys is we are paralyzed, yeah? Willingly paralyzed, incapacitated, in a vegetative state, hooked onto the countless escapism dramas that are being fed via Netflix. Hopped onto prescription drugs and mood elevators that give us a false sense of hope without dealing with the root cause. And of course being powered by these artificial and GMO foods. We create these false experiences of nature without really interacting with nature. We have false social networks when we can't even hold a proper conversation with someone mate. But when a few Muslims wake up, then we see what happened today. The government is forced to apologize and pay up mate. Imagine if more of us woke up, educated ourselves and learned and practiced our faith. Imagine the change that we could do. That's all I'm saying. And let's leave it there guys until next time. Assalamu alaikum.